Hey everybody, I am Jessica Henry Gray and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you with me today. I am painting an oceanscape. So I'm excited to show you how to do this. So let's roll the intro and I'll see you on the other side. I wanted to provide a short little video clip here of Destin, Florida. There is so much beauty and the color of the water is absolutely breathtaking. So I have a short little clip here of the time and workshop in Destin, Florida. So I hope you enjoy this little insight into it. And I also wanted to let you know that during the course of this video, the sound of the wind is very loud. So I tried to weed out as much of that sound as possible throughout the video. Throughout our stay in Destin, um, there were these beautiful great herons around and they were feeding their babies in their nests and so we were very honored to be able to witness some of them actually getting fed and uh, so I caught some of that here in this video. And uh, I also am including a short clip of some of our students and um, a pirate ship <laughs> as well as a manatee. We saw all kinds of wildlife and uh, it was really amazing. Um, and then I've also included a few of my demos from the workshop. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching and we will get going on this YouTube's video. Hey everybody, Jessica Henry Gray here and I'm excited to bring today's episode to you today. So welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I do a lot of plein air videos. I throw in some other videos too, like still lifes and portraits. But this week I am in Destin, Florida and I am teaching a workshop down here actually. Um, but I thought I'd get out super early this morning and run down to the coast here and do this little video for my YouTube channel. So I am all set up here to paint this beautiful sandy beach here and the waves are just kind of nice and cresting. So we're gonna get some of that on this painting today. So stay tuned. All right, now because the sun is at my back, I'm afraid we're gonna get my shadow on the canvas, but I will try to rearrange the camera a little bit so that we can maybe try to deal with that a little. <laughs> Might be a little bit of a challenge. All right, so my setup today, this is my open box M. I've got a nine by 12 canvas panel right here. Uh, for paints, I've got titanium white, cadmium yellow medium, yellow ochre burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. Now in this workshop I'm using a couple of different colors that I don't normally use. I've got some radiant turquoise and I do have my alizarin crimson. This is emerald green by um, Gamblin and then phthalo green which I normally use 
and I've just got a magenta right here, which I'm not gonna be using today. All right, so I've got a little bit of Galka gel here, and down below here, I've got my little can of odorless mineral spirits. And I've got my brushes over here. Most of them are rosemaries. I've got two, four, six, eight, and some smaller ones, and some miscellaneous sizes as well. All right, a little bit of palette knife, and down below uh, on my tripod are my paper towels. I've got a little bit of a garbage bag down here that I'm gonna be using for all my paper towels. So I'm figuring out where I want the main objects on this canvas placed. So I don't need very much information for the sky up here since I really want this painting to be more about the ocean and the sand dunes here with the grasses. So I'm just laying them on loosely. really wonderful waves in here today so I'm gonna focus on getting that in there just want this whole scene to be inviting for what's happening right here and leading the eye in that way I may put the flag in because it's just a nice spot of red all right so beginning with the sky get some white Ultramarine blue. Let's grab a little bit of the phthalo green, just the tiniest dot of it, a lot more white. That's close to the horizon color. So I'll just take some more of that and just add a little more blue to it. For the top. I'll just gently put that in. I'll wipe my brush off and I'll just grab the next layer. So to begin the ocean, I start with ultramarine blue, yellow ochre, little phthalo green. Just get that nice velvety horizon. Let me take a clean, dry brush, and I want to soften that horizon edge. Just gives the illusion of distance.
So that'll work for that initial lay-in of that. Now, as the water progresses towards us, it, it gets a little lighter and a little bit more of the sky is hitting the top surface of it. So I take a little bit of um, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna to create sort of a grayish blue, slate blue. And I just put that over that sapphire velvety dark. Not the, entirely to cover it up, but just a little. Okay, as we get closer to us, a little more yellow ochre, a little more white. Let's grab some of that phthalo green, a little bit more of that. The color of the water today is so completely different than what it has been. When I'm traveling, I like to use more of the Galkit gel or liquid because it makes my paintings dry faster, which makes it more convenient for traveling with my wet art. Um, typically, I do use linseed oil more, but again, that, that uh, having your paintings a little bit drier just helps to reduce the potential for scuffs and marks. It doesn't, it's not 100% perfect, but it helps. So this brush that I'm starting out with today is um, a rosemary uh, size 7. It's a flat eclipse long and these are synthetic. They are absolutely wonderful for holding a nice chiseled edge. about painting waves is you just have to pretty much guess where you want them, where you see them over there, and try to record that when you get to that point. You take a mental photograph of it. sky blue peeking through that all of that. We get to carve out a lot of that sky.
the sand. Very, very white. I am. I'm painting the beach. <laughs> Have fun today. it in the path of in the footprints and the shadows sort of wraps around. I just want to be cognizant of where the sun is coming from, so it co it's coming from this direction in my painting. So I'm going to play with some of that light coming through here. It's a little tough to see on camera, I know, when the values are all so close in this setting, but um, I'll try to demonstrate that a little more. I just want a little more cool purple over here to play with that exchange, that difference of distance here. Because I'm going to incorporate more of that purple in the shadows over here. So that sunlight sand, white, just the smallest touch of cad yellow. I always say cadmium is your sunshine color. Let's get maybe a tiny bit more. Just paint those colors together.
Okay, I'm gonna start blocking in the beach grass now. white in there. The brush up like this to get So I'm painting right over the purple and white sands that I had here before. Now I'm going to be putting in these fences that I like, <laughs> and um, so I have to think in terms of layers. These grasses are going to be behind that, so I have to paint them in first. Grabbing some of the lighter white. I want to just establish where my major actors are going to be in this play. <laughs> where are those big waves?
this mirrored reflection of the white foam hitting the surface. So now I'm going to get a really little brush and just put in some of the foam. What is that, acrylic or uh, oils? Oh, Bob Ross, huh? Bob oh. Ross is your idol? Oh, yes, always. <laughs> Happy little trees. Nah. That's nice, though. Thank you. I'm going to send my daughter up here. She likes to paint. Nah, she's in the water. She won't come back. Okay. Well, that's nice. You going to throw some dolphins in there, too? Yeah. 
What's that? Some dolphins. Uh, no, probably not the dolphins. I see dolphins up there.
Last but not least, we'll just have a few little people. All right, everybody. Well, that wraps us up. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I always love your comments. All right. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Just two hours north of Charleston is a town called Bishopville. And in Bishopville, I will be teaching a portrait workshop at the Opera House in May of 2021. This is going to be an in-person workshop, painting the portrait. It has its own unique challenges, uh, painting from a three-dimensional form, but I love teaching that. And it's important to learn how to see shapes and values and colors accurately. Photos uh, allow us a lot of distortion. So working from life is just a fantastic opportunity. In this workshop, I will discuss uh, working from life and using our eyes to observe and measure. We'll talk about painting skin tones and hair and using our brushwork to help define form, as well as values and topography to create the illusion of a sculpted form. Learning to paint the portrait is a fantastic means of an art discipline. Um, it's even better in a group setting uh, where everybody can have the opportunity to hear and receive advice and uh, help from other people. And you get that extra feedback when you can hear group critiques. Um, this is a picture coming up here of the group that I taught in Ireland. Fantastic group of ladies in the portrait workshop there. I hope you can make it to South Carolina and take my portrait workshop there. Join me in Charleston, South Carolina, plein air painting workshop. Um, I'm very excited to paint in this one of the most beautiful cities in the entire nation. Rich in history, Charleston is full of color, energy, and a rare vitality. Three days of plein air painting, capturing the city, land, and seascapes. I am so excited for this workshop. It is going to be a fantastic three days of painting in person in this look at the color of this it's absolutely beautiful city we're going to enjoy painting the beautiful beaches as well as the colorful cities my workshops are fun and we're going to keep it engaged um, in a lot of energy uh, we keep very safe in the workshops as well uh, in this season of covid um, everybody's wearing masks as it's appropriate but we are also outside and that helps with um, stopping the spread so I hope that you get to enjoy this one and look over it, and I hope to see you in South Carolina. Listed in the top 100 most beautiful beaches in the world by National Geographic, Cannon Beach is a joy to plein air paint. The Oregon beaches truly are one of my most favorite beaches in the world. The water is a stunning aqua, deep sapphire, velvety blue. It's just unlike anywhere else in the world with massive rocks and starfish, crashing waves. Um, there's an endless supply of things to paint. And uh, we had a wonderful time painting there this last October. Um, we kept very safe. Uh, COVID free. Uh, this is um, the group that joined us. We had a fantastic time and uh, we, being outdoors we felt very safe and this is a, a wonderful opportunity to just study how to plein air paint in a fantastic location. It's soothing and relaxing listening to the ocean waves while painting. Just sort of takes all your cares and washes them right back out to the sea. I love painting in the ocean, especially early in the morning like this. It's just absolutely breathtaking, peaceful. Ancient forests, mysterious um, 
they're just, they have this intrigue that you don't find anywhere else in this country. Majestic beaches, soaring cliffs, makes Oregon a fascinating must on any planner painter's list. The workshop is designed to keep you safe. You can see uh, we're all spread out and uh, everywhere you find, everywhere you look is somewhere fantastic to paint. So I hope that you um, take a look at this one, follow the link for more information. I would love to meet you in Oregon this coming year.